Yo, what's good people? It's Jay Cactus, and in today's video, I haven't really prepared anything specific for this one. I feel like when you tell yourself you're gonna make a certain type of beat every time, it limits your creativity and it kind of puts some pressure on yourself. Sometimes it's good to just start cooking up and see where it takes you, so that's what I'm gonna do today. And yo, last week I said I'd do a little giveaway and everyone had to drop a comment with a cactus, and the name that was randomly generated was Keys Meds. So big up Keys Meds, just message me on Instagram at jcactusmusic and I'll hook you up with my drum kit. But let's get into the video. Let's start with a quote for this one. I'm just going to think of a melody. Yeah, maybe something like this. Just real simple. Let me record that in. You know what? It might sound better, but slower like this. Maybe some like UK rap drums on it. It might sound hard. Sounds kind of hard, but I might change up the instrument or just have one layer of koto and then the counter melodies can be something else. Yo, I don't know what happened to the koto, but it sounds kind of sick. I think the plugin needs resetting, but that sounds hard. Just as maybe a little top layer. I'll render that anyway. So I've got the bass layer and I might duplicate this and let's bring it back down octave. So now we've got two layers. I'm going to send these through to a mixer. I'll send them to the same one and then any effects I add will add it to them all. Maybe some delay as well. And I think the higher one's just got a bit of a sharp sound to it, so I can pull up an EQ. I'm pulling up the EQ on the individual one because I'm trying to fix a problem. I'm trying to remove some of them harsh frequencies. Yeah, somewhere around there. It's just a bit sharp. And then that top layer, I'm going to try Yanquin. Alright, I've rendered the cotal with it actually working as well. So this was the first one I had. With the bass. Or with these. So this one sounds a bit more full. Or maybe with the high too. I could mix between them though. Actually, I want a pad in there just to thicken things up. Yeah, something like this, just subtly in the background.
want to add a synth bass in there now. When you're using bass in a VST, you can't add slides. So what I'm going to do is record one note and then use that as a bit of a one shot and then I can add some slides in. So I'm just going to record one note. Might as well make it kind of long just in case I need a longer note. You know what, I was thinking of adding something else, but I think if I add one more instrument or another layer of vocals, it's just gonna get a bit too busy. So I'm gonna start arranging it. So I'm thinking start with a simple synth bass without the slides. And the chorus just brought down the octave. And then the hi-hats can maybe come in just before the end. So round about here. And the rim and the open hats. I'll keep that first one in though. And then I think when it gets to the verse, I'll keep these quotes in. Put the simple bass back in. And then maybe the Dakota bass. Cut the highs here. I need some kind of riser. I think I've got just the one in my pack. Just want like a white noise style. Yeah, something like this. Yeah, my camera flash too, that needs to be in. Definitely for the drop, I'm telling you, this is gonna be the signature sound for me. And put the quarter that's down at octave. Let's see how this sounds. And then maybe some Japanese style crash. So like a gong or something like that. Yeah, this is the perfect one. Might shorten it though. Yeah, so I just wanted to change this last 808 just to switch it up a tiny bit. do the same for the second hook. All right, I've pretty much finished the beat now and I've slowed down the BPM a little bit. I think 94 was a little bit too quick. So I put it back down to 92 and I'll show you what I've got. So in the intro, I've just got the main koto, but down a full octave. And then the synth bass comes in, but with no slides. And then the tag, riser, and then a gong with a crash. Save the perks and the pads 
just for some variation. And then a new synth bass pattern, just these extra slides here. Again, just to switch things up. Obviously everything slows down for the first, comes back down an octave. And then I've got these second chords here. These are the ones that played when the plugin started messing up, but they sound hard. And then for the bridge before the hook. Not even a bridge, it's just the end of the verse really. It comes back down an octave. And then everything for the hook. Just save that one cat melody. And then the second verse basically repeats. So it's a little bit repetitive, but with all the switch ups and the breaks and the drums, it just makes it a lot more interesting. So I hope you liked the video and I hope you're feeling the beat. I think it was good to switch it up today. I know most of my content's been about drill beats, but I am trying to get into the UK rap scene as well. I just haven't been uploading them as much because most of my audience come for the drill tutorials. But if you want more like this, then let me know in the comments. But once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Jay, Jay, Jay Cactus. Jay Cactus.